You are watching the Hot Springs Broadcast Network. Welcome to Hello Hot Springs, the weekly television show that brings you everything about Hot Springs, past, present, and future. On today's show, our culinary guests are Katie and William Bird from Will Cinnamon Shop, musical guest Shauna Prince Kaler, and from the Valley of the Vapors Independent Music Festival, director Sonny Kay. We also have stories from Tony Fraser, the 83-year-old slot machine repairman who worked for Dane Harris back in the day. The show is about to begin, so if you don't mind, make sure you share this show on Facebook or YouTube with one of your great social media friends. And now it's time for Hello Hot Springs. And so what we're going to do now, yeah, let's see if we can have audio again. Here we go. We got some audio for you? All right, finally, like I said, we're going to work through the audio issues. So what, we, what I'd like to do right now is introduce the people on the set. Uh, first off, we got Sonny K with um, Valley of the Vapors Music Festival right over here next to Dennis. Uh, let's give him a round of applause. Yeah. All right. And then next up, uh, Bob, if you flip the camera around to our lovely musician, Shauna Kaler Prince here. <laughs> and uh, uh, Katie uh, and Bill, William Bird with uh, Will Cinnamon Shop over here. And so we got a lot of we got a lot of different things going on. And then we have Johan from Peter's Paint hiding out, but he's coming later. Let's give him a round of applause. And uh, first off, what I'd like to show you is something from the Gambling Museum in town. Most people don't know there's a Gambling Museum in Hot Springs. It's located in the shopping, the old Walmart shopping center across from, um, what do you call it, uh, Planet Fitness, right? The shopping center directly across the street and in, in the Kroger area. And it's free to get into. It's open on weekends. One of the gentlemen is a partner there. He's 83 years old, uh, Tony Frazier. And Tony repaired slot machines back in the day before they closed down gambling in 1964. We're going to roll a little interview clip that we had with Tony Frazier. Go for it, Doug. They put, this was a mint vendor, mints go, a roll of mints, and it was then a vendor. You, you were allowed to, if you put a coin in it, it gave you a credit on the mint vendor, plus let you pull the handle, did the same thing as any other slot machine, but it also sold you a roll of mints. Well, you didn't have to take the roll of mints. Eventually, somebody would turn the handle and buy the mints, and that took the credit off, so you couldn't just keep turning the handle. You had to put another coin in, but you, and then they made that illegal, so they put a what they called skill stop. They had buttons up there on, between the wheels where you could mash the button and stop the wheels yourself. Pull the handle, spin the wheels, and push the button. That was skill. <laughs> that was a game of skill. <laughs> but they made that illegal too. Three, 
three, four, five, six, seven people play at the same time. Well, they had some kind of sort of dispute about whose winner they hit. Mm -hmm. And somebody reached down to pick up that money, and this lady come out of her apron po pocket with a razor and cut his throat. He fell down on the machine and bled all over the machine, and it ran all down in the... And I got the call and went out there and had to get in that machine and clean the S out of that machine. <laughs> and they took her to jail. The few machines that had a drop jackpot that like this, that the jackpot actually dropped out of the machine, I would always, I'd work on the machine from the back, I'd have it turned around. I got through, turn it back around, I'd always drop some money out to put in to make sure it could work before I walked out the door. Inevitably, I'd put a coin in it, pull the handle, and the jackpot would drop. <laughs> I'd turn around and put it back in. <laughs> Load all the money back in. <laughs> Lucky me. Now, that's the Gambling Museum at 3339 um, Central Avenue, right near Kroger. It's free. It's available on weekends. One of the things I wanted to also say is we finally have some feed from the Facebook people. So if you want to say something, we'll try to acknowledge your names over there. Can I have that notebook over here so I could say hi on that? Up next, we have an exciting, exciting, um, thank you, uh, Bob. We have an exciting music festival come up. This is their 15th year anniversary. It's the Valley of the Vapors Music Festival. Let's give them a big round of applause. And we are having Dennis interview Sonny Kay, who's the director of that festival, coming up in just a few days. Hit it, guys. Hey, it's Dennis here with Hot Springs. Hello, Hot Springs. And I'm interviewing Sonny. We're going to ask a little about the Valley of the Vapors. If you're not familiar with what it is, let me just set up a piece of it. We're, we're getting ready to have South by Southwest, is that not That's mistaken? That's right, correct. And, and a lot of the guys that are coming to South by Southwest, they come down this interstate called um, uh, Interstate 30. Yeah, 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 yeah. So as they're coming through town, what they're really doing is, is they're on their way to, to South by Southwest, and they'll stop off at the VOV, and Sonny, what do they do there? Uh, ask for free meals. Oh, and, uh, okay. Well, that, they're musicians, right? <laughs> yeah. The that's right. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We uh, we overlap with with South by Southwest. We catch bands uh, on their way there and on their way on their way back. Wow. Uh, we actually uh, the, our festival hangs over into the following week a little bit in order to accommodate some of how those. How cool! Bands. And this has been going on how many weeks? How many weeks? It's been I mean, going on for years? fifteen yeah. years. Fifteen yeah. years. Fifteen yeah. years. Yeah. And we can expect how many bands and how many people? And so I think we're at about 45 or 46 bands this wow. year. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I'm, I'm looking at the list here. Uh, a Deer, A Horse from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, um, Adventureland from Little Rock. Beams from Toronto, Toronto, Ontario. I mean, it's just a little bit of everybody. How yeah, would yeah. you describe to the, the person that's never been there before? How would you describe that? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's def certainly an eclectic mix of groups. Uh, it tends to focus largely on what... Uh, we would call what we call underground yeah. rock music, college music, uh, to a degree. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, generally um, kind of uh, art type bands, art punk bands, or uh, electronic music, or that kind of thing. Uh, but it, but it, it, it crosses, it, it touches on a lot of falls, a lot of genres fall within our net. And we would you call it all just music, or is there art events with it? Or uh, certainly, there's art. We, we we do try and integrate art with almost everything we do with Lucky Arts. Um, oh, cool. So this uh, there's actually a very um, nice tradition that's part of the festival where local artists here in Hot Springs uh, 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 there's a there's a, a culture of handing off inclusion from one to the next person. Oh, cool. So the so the amount of people producing art for the festival is limited, yeah. and uh, they produce oil paintings uh, with a theme depending on the year of the festival. Oh, really? And uh, those pictures are then auctioned off at the festival and uh, oh, wow. are actually a, a big part of our fundraising. Um, well, I was about to get to the fundraising, so th this is not free, but I mean, it's very low cost, right? It's certainly, uh, we, f we feel it's a very good value for the money. It's, it's very uh, co cost effective. I mean, for a $10 ticket, you could see at least five bands. For a $10 ticket? A $10 nightly, nightly ticket, $40 festival pass ticket. And let me get this straight. So for $10, I could save myself 600 miles to Austin and see Certainly a lot could. of the same band. Absolutely could. Yes, wow. that's, that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah. And then there's other art venues with it, so like you say. That's right. So we have so Loki Arts, our venue, hosts a show every night of the four nights. We also have two satellite venues this year, Maxine's and the Big Chill. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, so we have sort of kind of secondary stages at those places. Yeah. Uh, 
and then we have the art component of the festival, which takes place in Loki Arts. The, the paintings are hung on the walls of the club and are there as a silent auction all weekend. People can bid on them. And uh, at the end of the weekend, which is Monday night, uh, we, we decide who the winners are. <laughs> I got to ask just because it's curious to me. Uh, do they do the art during the, the show or are they kind of prepped before the show or what? Oh, no. These are, um, the, in, the, in this particular case, what I'm talking about are finished oil paintings. Oh, really? That are displayed throughout the festival. Wow. I mean, they've this been is working kind of, on for weeks or months. Yeah, yeah. This is not, um, th this isn't really arts and crafts. I mean, this is like, a, this is a serious, uh, this is a serious endeavor. There's a lot of work that goes into these and a lot, um, there are certain people who contribute year after year who, create really phenomenal really? Uh, And so that's a great source of fundraising, too, as you said. It certainly is. For me, it's more, it's more inspiring just to um, galvanize people in the community to, to come together on, on, a, on a single uh, unified uh, idea or theme, or in this case, festival. Wow. Um, but yes, it is, it, to answer your question, it is a, it's definitely a part of our fundraising. Well, I, I know I can't, this doesn't really come up, but there's, there's the, the art for it, and I know that's hard to see, but I'm, I'm going to go back in and say just for a second, let me, you know, let me zoom that in. I, I'm going to ask you about six times how we can get a ticket, where you can go. Okay, so the easiest stuff. way to do it is Valley of the, <coughs> pardon me, valleyofthevapors.com. Okay, V-O-V of Valley of the Vapors. V-O-V is the festival, yes, valleyofthevapors.com. You can buy tickets on there. There's a... a Links to all kinds of information about the venues and the band's uh, websites and that kind of thing. It's pretty much everything you need to know. So, so the, if I go to the venue, I can see what bands are going to play, and then I can follow their links. And probably yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Your clips, I guess. Yeah. Actually, them. if you go uh, right uh, right on our landing page on the website, there are uh, there's a there's a playlist on Spotify, so you can just listen to all. Oh, I think wow. there's uh, forty odd songs on that. Sure. Uh, there's links to music videos by all the groups. So, I mean, these days everyone's real tech savvy. So it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, that whole interweb. So it's not going away yeah. anytime <laughs> soon, right? No, I don't think uh, so. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, and I wanted to ask uh, many other questions about the uh, about the the shows themselves. They start about what time and end about what time? Uh, so, so Friday, um, Friday, Sunday, Monday shows. Uh, doors that open about uh, six o'clock. Uh, I'm sorry, doors open at five. But shows start at six. Uh -huh. And goes um, till about about eleven, eleven thirty. Okay. Um, and then uh, the, the Saturday show, we're starting uh, early. The doors open at noon, and the show start about 2 o'clock. Wow. And I tell you what, you took $10 for a ticket, people. $10 for acts that you could only see back in Austin at South by Southwest or some others. Right. Uh, you, you can't pass this deal up. Valley of the Vapors, valleyofthevapors.com. John, back to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You guys, uh, you got to hang out at that festival, about 45 bands, which is incredible. And there's a lot to see, and it goes into the evening, and it's so much to choose from. But it's going on for 15 years and well worth it on Arbor Street. We will be back in a minute with uh, Shauna, our wonderful musician singer. But right now, I want to tell you a little bit about Hot Springs Trolley. The Hot Springs Trolley is the only tour in town that takes you up into the mountains for breathtaking views of the National Park and the Washita Valley. While you ride in air-conditioned comfort, your trolley driver will explain what you're seeing and tell you about Hot Springs' colorful history. On top of West Mountain, we stop so you can get out and take a good look at the panorama of city, valley, and mountains. Be sure to bring your camera. This stop is perfect for selfies. The Hot Springs Trolley will also take you to many of the out-of-the-way historic sites and places like our City Sculpture Garden and Military Park and we'll trolley you through old neighborhoods filled with gracious homes built in the 18 and 1900s. When you board the trolley, you'll get a water jug to use when we stop at one of the cold springs in the National Park. You will want to take some of this tasty water with you. During your tour, the driver will tell you about many of the other things to see and do around the spa city. Trolley riders often tell us they wish they had taken our tour first. The trolley is also the only wheelchair accessible tour in town. The Hot Springs Trolley, truly the best way to discover Hot Springs National Park. For tour times and rates, come inside or call 501-701-4410. We'd love to show you around. The trolley is also available for group charters, weddings, and other special occasions. Just give us a call at 501-701-4410. The Hot Springs Trolley. 
Hot Springs Trolley Tours is a great thing to do if you have relatives coming into town. And I want to make sure I have my mic on this time. I should do it, yeah. And so if you've if you got relatives coming into town, Shauna, take them on the trolley turn. You'll learn a lot in just about a half hour. So here we are with Shauna, the wonderful Shauna, and Shauna Kaler. And she's been in town for a number of years and been touring over in a Fleetwood back, Mac band now. And tell me about that Fleetwood Mac band. Yeah, having lots of fun. So the name of the band is, or the show is Dreams, a tribute to Fleetwood Mac. Okay. So we pretty much do the whole Rumors album, and I get to play the part of uh, the beloved Stevie Nicks. All right. I'm having a lot of fun with that. <laughs> All right, you like yeah. Stevie Nicks. And you played at the uh, Bath House Theater here in town, too, yeah. and you guys have taken that as far as what? St. Louis? Yeah. Las Vegas, someplace? We've got several um, shows mm -hmm. this year at the Hot Springs Bath House Theater, which is, we're getting a good response from that. First show was sold out with a big, long waiting list, so the next show there will be uh, March the 23rd. Okay. And, uh, well, we, wherever, uh, we've, we've done about five shows now. We just did one in um, Searcy this past weekend really good crowd and uh yeah we're on the road with it so having a lot of fun and an offshoot of that band is the crazy band that does all those 70s 80s 90s uh, dance tunes and everything what's the name of that band called well actually soul death soul death yeah is soul death production yeah <laughs> i i'm actually the lead singer for that band okay and yeah we do we so. do a lot of um r b and funk and fun stuff like that so so a little bit yeah. of both well i know that you've been in town for years and then you've been doing musical shows the menagerie and stuff for years so yeah. the town really appreciates uh, what shauna has done hasn't she done a great job by and then what i want to do now is i want to play a little 30 40 second clip from the rumors okay. uh which will give you of you doing that which will give you enough time to get over the piano okay. would you play a song for us sure. all right shauna yeah let's play that clip doug for a minute and we'll move her over there have the rumors a star come back in just a second and I've forgotten her name John it's Shauna and I should have known that it's great to have you hey listen it's just it dawned on me I meant to tell you I've told John this earlier but I have a, a small confession I need to make and I have a, a little change apparently tonight is like you know uh, a, a fat Tuesday and tomorrow is like Lent so in in case for for Lent I have decided that I am giving up winter. Anybody want to join me? Giving up winter? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Who's, who's had enough of the winter? Yep, we're done. We're done. So it's hashtag giving up winter for Lent, Dennis.com, hashtag at sign, whatever. And John, are we, Doug, I bet we're ready to roll, aren't we? We're ready to roll. All right, here okay. we go. If you were to turn that camera around, we go. yeah, I'm gonna do it. you're going to do that any time now. Hello and welcome to live television. Say when they will come 
uh, we're so tight on time, but I love your voice. Can you give us one more uh, little uh, 30 to 60 second version to show people something else you could do for a minute there? Yes. Yeah, sure. All right, all right. 30 seconds? Uh, let's do 45 seconds, somewhere in there, you know. One of my favorites, Nora Jones songs. All right, and we are back with Johan from Peter's Paint. Johan, how are you doing today? Hey, John, good to see you. Now, I got to tell the uh, studio audience out there, if you're looking for flooring, Peter's Paint is the way to go because they're at 1217 Malvern Avenue. You've driven by, you used to have the big paint, you still have the big paint bucket up we there. We do have it. Just not the paint brushes up there. And you can't miss Peter's Paint. Friendly staff, great people, great products. Tell us about what this crazy new flooring you got well, here. Well, it's completely life-proof, John. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's not only beautiful, what we have here, a lot of great different styles that you can mm -hmm. have, but I noticed that you guys have a kitchen set up, mm -hmm. and guess what? What if they spill some eggs yeah. and all that stuff? This can take care of it. You wet mop it, that's all you have to do. All right. That's it, and it's completely waterproof. So it looks proof, like proof. wood, but it's some amazing composite material. That, Correct. And this would be great for a rental house, right? Because great for a rental house. A lot of folks in town are, are trying to VRBO their, mm -hmm. their properties all or right. trying to get some long-term people going. You don't have to worry about the tenant scratching this up and dinging up a brand new floor. This brand new floor costs you a lot less to keep up, and next tenant you come in, all you do is make sure you wet mop it, and you're done, ready to go. Excellent. I'm going to have one of the cameras. Bob Nagy's done a great job. I don't know how we do without it. He's going to pan <laughs> over and show some of this uh, stuff over here. The uh, styles the are great. Some of the grays are really in right now. Um, you want to make basically match the uh, mm -hmm. flooring that you have, and that's what I'm, the reason I'm here, John. I want to put a flooring in for you guys and make sure that you guys have something that can survive all this traffic that's going on. And there's here. a lot so, of it. So we're going to get you back for that if yeah, we can in the next the, week or two. The style is awesome. The strength is great. But the reason we like Cortec is mm -hmm. because anybody can actually do it. Uh, we have a couple of DIYers in the audience that mm -hmm. my man Rich over there uh, did his own paint job. But Ow! we want to make it actually easy to put together. Uh, yeah. You could do it over a weekend. I had a rental cottage that mm -hmm. I did. And guess what? Click, click, click. You're done. And a renter on Monday. Awesome. You know? So it's pretty cool. And where can they come see this again? I said it, but go ahead. Yeah, and 1217. Everyone's familiar with uh, Taco Mama, mm -hmm. you know, Cafe 1217. Cafe right there. That block has Peter's Paint, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we are Peter's Flooring. And now so how many years has Peter's been in business? One or two? Or one or two. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit since 1906. 1906. Yeah, so that's and, one of the uh, oldest businesses in town. We know Hot Springs town. backwards and forwards. And, and, and uh, tell me a little bit about the owners in town. Um, yeah, uh, Mr. Brooke Clem, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the Clems have had it since forever yeah. his mm -hmm. he bought the business from his parents mm -hmm. a long time ago from the original peters family. right right um every time i see his mom in there she's a regular viewer on this show she is. Mama Clem, Mama Mama Clem, Clem, thank you You're the best. Yeah, yeah shout out to yeah. Mama Clem. yeah uh, i know she's watching so um no they're a great business they're mm -hmm. part of the community mm -hmm. brooks goes up and down west mountain he's been to the northwoods trail mm -hmm. because of the video that you shot last week okay and so uh we're 
people from in town and want yeah. to make this town beautiful again. And it's, you it's know, you don't spot. have to wait in there. I mean, service is like 30 seconds. They take care of you. It's real. If you got to wait more than two rings, we've done our. Yeah. And job, when you so. go in there, well, I hope people get down to Peter's paint and I hope we get you back in the next couple of weeks thanks, and start man. installing the floor as will, we go, man, man you're John, great to so see again. Thanks. Johan from Peter's paint. And we will be back in a minute after Doug plays this little video clip. All right, Doug. Up the, the balcony was where the kids sat that were wanting to cuddle. Oh, oh. <laughs> and the sneaky ones, huh? So I was I was one of those girls that sat downstairs. Okay. I'll tell you my my guilty secret. Okay, let's hear it. We wanted to get in Confession. for a, for a, this was at the Paramount. Uh huh. We wanted to get in for eleven cents, and we would wipe our lipstick off. <laughs> oh, it looks Before like you're a little younger. <laughs> Before we went up to the ticket booth to buy tickets. So you we know, how old are you? I'm 10. <laughs> oh, people get to meet you. You as well, huh? You're, you're, our, you're our local Houdini, aren't That's you? That's right. <laughs> I hope I Hey, I just want to take a minute and thank uh, Doug Lackey, who's on our switching back there. The man. And, and Bob Nagy here. And uh, we have Havla, who's going to be coming up pretty soon. And we have Jillian and a whole bunch of people. And we have... Uh, Will and Katie coming up in a minute with um, Will Cinnamon Shop. So I want to thank mm. everybody for coming here and Shauna, of course, before. But I may be drooling, John. Yeah. I may be drooling. And what I want to do now is I want to play a little bit of, uh, it's, we're going to lose audio for about five seconds, while uh, Doug starts the clip of uh, Colton. Now Colton, um, well, let's go with the clip and then we'll have to wait a second and until the, the audio goes back on. And Colton was 12 years old when he had uh, discovered they had, he had brain cancer. Things weren't doing well for him at all. And he had a love of food. He was in the hospital for 42 days. He has now survived. He is 17 years old. Okay. And the neat thing about Colton is he always wanted to uh, cook from the time he was little. I mean, 42 days in the hospital. Wow. You know, and uh, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation. Yeah. Um, but he dreamed about cooking all the time. You know, he just kept dreaming about it. And, uh, and so when he got out, as you know, you get out of the hospital, something like that, it's still a couple of years from sure. recovery. You're, but, you're, not, you're not whole. For right, a while. But, he, but he focused on it. And then he went around meeting with chefs. And um, when he was meeting with the, uh, different chefs around, uh, all around the state, they took him in and showed him different things. And he learned uh, so much so that uh, got some attention to Make-A-Wish Foundation. Really? Make-A-Wish Foundation, Regional Foundation, sent him to Greece and his family. And then and Greece knows something about food. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he went with the chefs, the, you know, the top chefs in Greece, and had a wonderful time, so much so that, you know, even though he was still recovering, he made it his wish that he could do the same thing for someone else. So he's been uh, the baklava sales at the vault all go to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and a couple of the different people um, got together and um, decided to have this night for uh, for people want to come in on a fundraiser, and they raised enough for somebody else to go on a trip like he to does Greece? to the Make a Wish Foundation. Oh, wow. And he gives back where he becomes the chef that night. So let me get this straight: you said, and you were going fast there, mm -hmm. but all the baklava donations, all the sales from the baklava right. at the vault, right, go toward this Make a Wish, Make -A -Wish Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and so even when he was recovering, he was going around like hot springs, helping people out with the sick. I have a rare disease, and I got a call from his mother and say, Colton would like to come over and bring you food. They brought us a five-course uh, five Greek dinner, and he wasn't even fully recovered yet. And wow. he's helping other people out. So this is like pay it forward, yeah, like to yeah. the max, you know? And I also hear that that's, that's the healing, is when you're not focused on yourself, it's easy to sit and say, man, I feel rotten and exactly. this is terrible, but to focus on somebody else, and, and you're wasting away, so I'm glad he brought yeah. you some food. Exactly, you know? man. And I will tell you this, that- uh, And he thought that was funny. So the, and the, he thought that was funny. <laughs> last <laughs> night <laughs> at the vault, <laughs> last night at the vault was the event that they had, this really? event, and it was sold out. Colton was a chef. I'm going to roll tape of this. Oh, man, he but was I a just, chef. I just really? want to give you a back backdrop on how great this kid is, that he's Fantastic. not only paying it forward. I mean, he's paying it, he was paying it forward when he was still recovering. Literally and in the he, hospital. And it, five years later, and, and, and praise the Lord, he's doing great. Amen. So, all man, right. that's awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at that video. Awesome. Colton Miller.
Okay, so we're going to come back to that video uh, because uh, for some reason we have a technical issue, and uh, if we uh, if we can't get it uh, on the screen tonight, I promise I will put it up later this evening. So yeah, please check check that out because we're having a little technical difficulty. And right now we um, are going to go to something about food. Speaking of food, Will and Katie from. Will Cinnamon Shop. Let's give them a big Yay! round of applause. I don't know if you know this, John. I don't know if you know this, John, but me and food, we go way back. We we're go like way this. Back. We're, we're like this. Me and food. We're yeah, All right. We're well, we're cutting over to them. And uh, how are you guys doing today? Good? Yeah. All right. So we didn't even discuss what you guys are baking up or showing us. And so it's a surprise to me as much. But go ahead and talk your way through this and we will watch and maybe eat at the end. So everybody knows we make cinnamon rolls. Right. But we wanted to kind of show you uh, some other products that we serve. And um, we have a running joke that we vacation where I can find good food because <laughs> I like to eat. Um, so whenever we travel, uh, we always look for the best cinnamon rolls for Will and I always look for the best donuts. And our actually our trip to Chicago is what birthed the idea of Will Cinnamon Shop. And uh, we Will found uh, cinnamon rolls that the city of Chicago was famous for. And so we went and had them, and while we were sitting there eating them, he said, you know what? Nobody in Hot Springs does a baked cinnamon roll. We could bake cinnamon rolls and sell red light roastery coffee, and people would love it. And that was literally where it started from. And so he wanted to give something back to me, so I will tell you, let him tell you what he did. It's very this sweet. ought to be good. We made some donut muffins. That's yeah. it. Are we done? <laughs> okay, well, that was short. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank Let's you, hear from men across America. <laughs> yeah, rules. Yeah, that was yeah. Um, it's a donut muffin, uh, baked, not fried. Nothing we do is fried yet. Um, but I wanted to kind of give her a little bit of a little bit of donut to hold her over a little bit, kind of keep her in the shop. Otherwise, she wasn't going to help me. Um, <laughs> and so we, we've got a cake donut texture, and we roll it in cinnamon sugar. Pretty simple, but it's also kind of delicious. Um, those are our are carbs that keep us going when we're up there, little scooby little snacks kind of keep us, keep us going. And then we're going to be doing lemon muffins. This is a lemon lavender muffin. If anybody knows me, besides cinnamon rolls, I'm also a, there's a guy crawling on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you, you have to, uh, you, Will, you're not making it on live TV, buddy, if you're going to narc everybody out. I don't know no. if this is going to work, buddy. I'm telling you. It's behind Maybe the there's a guy crawling on the floor, but you don't have to tell everybody there's a guy crawling on the floor, okay? You know, Jeez. Shot, what part of don't crawl on the floor? <laughs> Jeez. So we got, we got a lemon lavender muffin. I'm a lemon head fanatic, and um, a, a number of our fans are also. Lance, hey. Hey, um, Lance. Hey, Lance. So this is, a, this is my way of having lemon year-round. So it's lemon lavender. We put a glaze on the top of it. And this is actually ended up being her second favorite thing in the shop. So I guess I didn't do too well with the donut muffin, so maybe we'll just have to do donuts later. So are you the thing. first favorite thing in the shop? No, no. she's oh. my first. Oh, OK. I'm just oh. making sure. <laughs> Opportunity for plug. Oh, <laughs> Quick. So we were just going to show you how we um, we prepare these. So they're they're pretty simple. And this is actually kind of fun. We have these fun little brushes. And by the way, these have been pre-baked. Yes. Pre-baked. Okay. And yes. you said not yeah. fried, not. as I heard. Exactly. Yes, not not fried. So you literally, it's covered in butter, and you know butter is uh, dairy, so it's good for you. It's good for your mm -hmm. bones, right? My trainer is like, no, stop talking, Katie. <laughs> so Don't we literally, literally cover it in butter, and then we oh, toss God, it oh. in the sugar, and then you have this beautiful little Annie. muffin. Give that to Annie. Oh wow! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is locale. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Locale and trainer approved, as I understand totally. it. Trainer totally. approved. Actually, right? my trainer is is one of our, our biggest uh, fans. So good. Thank you. Where's John? Get me. Eat yeah. it. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh. you want a bite? So, hey, crawl on the floor, buddy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you gotta crawl. <laughs> we got taste uh -huh. testers over there. They're coming out of the studio. Right? <laughs> I usually don't put gloves on on TV. <laughs> This is more behind the scenes than you will probably ever yeah. see anywhere. I'm just uh, letting you know. I've never been recorded putting a glove on. Lots of, yeah, yeah. 
Anyway. So let me let me get this back. I heard you say there's no not a fryer in the shop yet. 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 That's all I'm gonna say. That's not leave yet. A little or bit. A little possibly. You gotta leave something. How do you make donuts sure. without frying them? Dang. I mean, we well, don't. Just, just yet. A donut muffin. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry, and I'm just getting it. You love Will's buns. I get it. Love I'm you. getting it now. I've loved hers for years. So it's about time. <laughs> it's about time, right? We're talking about fair, fair play. It's full of them. I'm telling I'm, you, I'm, well, points. That, that would be a points. way to phrase it. Well, yeah. When are you gonna start making bagels? We actually We've been tossing around the idea. Tony, discussion. because I love that man, and he knows how much I love food. The last time he went to New York, he brought me bagels back. What? So. I could uh, so make Indiana, sure. New York. Yep. So I, I do apologize for everybody here that we don't have cinnamon rolls. But you know, people, um, a lot of people don't even realize we make a bunch of stuff besides cinnamon rolls. While you're doing this, Shauna, can you give a little background music? That would be interesting. Ooh, I like music. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Music to dine by. That's a very sexy looking little muffin thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, do some sexy music. I'll do it to the music. Is this P Is this PG thirteen? Is this gonna be PG thirteen? Got to go there again. <laughs> Woo! Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Just to watch them be seen. It's getting steamy on this side of the room. It's getting steamy, I'm telling you. I, I did not know there would be Ford food and porn involved. Yeah, but this yeah. This one's kind of. The, the floors are waterproof. We're good. The yeah. floors are waterproof. Is that, is that one not enough? Yeah, that looks that fantastic. One? Now, that one's, that one's a little. That really does look fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh. Lovely. The, the two second? Okay, never mind. Yeah. All right. Oh. Now, um. Would you please bring one of those over here so I have enough sugar for the rest of the night? <laughs> throw on the floor. I already gave that away. Waiter. Oh, yeah, waiter. No, no. <laughs> this looks really good. Little brother Thank says so to big brother, okay. waiter. That's oh, waiter. Yeah, you're going to go. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Great. The, uh, great. The calorie cops have showed up. The calorie great. cops. Wonderful. Yeah. I have to look yeah, on yeah. my list here. So um, It says you're vamping. So what, what says. so what we're saying here, back to Will and Katie, is that's all you have to do. <laughs> I don't think, you shouldn't wave that in front of oh me, John. That's, that's not. Right, no, that's no, 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 no. This is so good. This is so good. It's pretty, 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 pretty. I'm getting that's, a sugar high just smelling it. That's that actually good. my favorite thing that we make in the I'm shop. The lemon lemon. Yes. I don't have and, any milk. And, uh, the, the lemon is, yeah, the milk would be good. The lemon is so good. Now, before we go, tell everybody a little bit about your shop for a minute because this is wonderful. This is good stuff. Um, we're at 1001 Central, uh, right across from the theater, the Central Theater. Central Theater. Thank you very much. Um, hard to remember that name because we're on Central Avenue. <laughs> um, we've been in business for about a year and a half, and we're just trying to wing it every day, throwing some new stuff on the menu. We've got sandwiches coming. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Tell us about your new party room. I want to hear hours of operation, too. Hours yeah. of operation. Monday, not. Not. Tuesday. Zero. Neil, not. Nine. Tuesday, None. not. Our employees are Bones chilling. Bones are not there. They're watching us right now, laughing <laughs> right now, because they're not working. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, we're open from 7 to 2. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, 7 to 5, and on Sunday, 7 to 4. And all the sandwiches are going to be a lunch thing? And you ask about the room, I'm sorry. Sandwiches yes. are going to be a lunch thing. Uh, it will be from 11 till 2. Awesome. On the weekends, probably 11 till close. Give us a sneak peek at one of the sandwiches you're developing there at Will Cinnamon Shop on Central. Come on, Katie. It's a, it is a beautiful blend of two men that I love very, very much. This man mm -hmm. and Scott McClard. Oh, oh right. Yeah. Scott oh. McClard. Oh, We're going to have to get Scott in here. You tell him how crazy it is. She didn't tell. clear giving that away before. <laughs> yeah. She's pretty. I'll let her give it away with that. Well, that's awesome. And there was a party room. I didn't hear that part. Did we go? Yes, to that? we actually we have a we have a venue over there on the other side. You see the garage doors. Mm -hmm. um, we've got that. We rent that out. We wanted a, a cheap place for people to be able to have something, you know, small. It holds about 30, 40 people. We've got right. a screen, music, you can hook your phone up, got an Apple TV in there. 
Um, but it's it's a real cool setup, and we do it for like seventy five dollars for two and a half hours. Oh man, that's a deal! And if you want to cater your own food, you can order and ours. order some cinnamon buns. And so get I could off. call I could call Scott McClard. If, yeah. you know if you know what I'm saying here, and I could bring, bring barbecue. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. barbecue and cinnamon buns. So let's give uh, Will and Katie a big round of applause. Will Cinnamon yeah. Shop over on Central. You know where that is. And I want to thank all the crew here today. We do. Um, I'd have to ask my control room. Did we ever find uh, Colton's other video? Okay, that so that, that, that was the produce piece of, of what happened yesterday. So tonight, I want you to like and subscribe to Hot Springs Broadcast Network. And follow. And follow. Get the notifications, because we're going to, in about an hour and a half after this show is all done, I'm going to put up Colton's video, and uh, we're going to go from there That's an awesome with cause. that. That's an yeah, awesome it was cause. a really great cause. It was great last night. I'm not sure why. We have a technical issue with it, uh, but that, those kind of things happening. Now we have a Colton video. Oh, okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We're going to play the K video next week. We're running out of time this what? week. K but I want to no. just say thank you for all the Teaser. audience and people. And we couldn't have done it. Bob Nagy running all the cameras at once was God incredible. Yes. Yes. I really yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Bob, show the control room with that camera if you don't mind. Yeah. Show the main hey, audience. Hey. Yeah. Doug does have a face. Doug does have yeah. a face if you can and capture I, him. I he, hope you guys get to the Valley of the Vapors out. show and Sonny and the group. Just uh, He's a really nice guy, and he's going to take care of you with all the music that you need. Bring earplugs for some of those. And I want to <laughs> I want to thank Shauna for being here, Johan for being here, Will and Katie for being here, and especially my cohort Dennis here for pleasure, everything God. else. We got uh, everybody over um, we got a wonderful uh, studio audience here, so if you want to be in the studio audience sometime, let us know. And we're going to bring up a little music from the lovely Shauna on the way out for our um, uh, credits. Thank you, Shauna. And where will we see you next? You'll see me next. We'll, we'll be at Southland this weekend with mm -hmm. Southeff, and then we'll be back at the Bathhouse Theater. I'm also with in the Ladies of the 70s at the Hot Springs Bathhouse Theater, opening up in a couple of weeks. So. Were y'all at the Hot Springs Village not too long ago? Were you at Hot Springs Village? Uh, no. I heard y'all were going to, I didn't know y'all were going to show Well, she'll be there next month. You and need to uh, get there next she's going to play yeah. us out with a little music here. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. My name is John Cooksey. I'm Dennis Simpson. And this is Hello, Hello Hot, Hot Springs. Springs. We'll see you on another episode next week. Thank you. Great to see you. Watching the Hot Springs Broadcast Network.